Good evening everyone. Have you read the stories about the hitman, about the newspapers, and you were there going, oh, I wish there was a really cute penguin at the centre of all of this. Then, you know what? I'm here to fill that niche request. Death and the Penguin by Andrei Kirkov, which has been translated from the Ukrainian, and this was an absolute madcap adventure i i i don't know how something so serious how something so political satirical can focus on a very cute penguin that everyone just wants to spend time with it was absolutely uh i i mean it was a ride it was a ride there's a sequel to this book penguin lost and and you know i'm going to be buying that straight away uh uh what is this about victor zolotayev wants to be an aspiring short story writer and he's good at it he has studied the russian greats he has an absolute penchant for chekhov and let's be honest even today the russian classics are just revered they are epic they are still as relatable today as they were then turgenev dostoevsky bulgakov tolstoy we love them we appreciate them but victor wants to be like one of the russians but victor's not he's ukrainian and this is set in kiev which is now Kiev. When this was released in 2003, it was still called Kiev. But for the sake of consistency, we're going to call it Kiev as if you were going to quote from this book, you'd be saying Kiev. Victor's stories do very well and he works for a small newspaper and people enjoy his stories. People are actually paying him outright to write for them, to commission work. But it's not creative writing, it's not short stories. He's he writes obituaries. He writes about people who are going to die. And Victor is good at it. He has enough to pay for food for himself and his penguin, Misha. This homely, albeit offbeat beginning is all going to change when Misha arrives. Now, that's not Misha the penguin. This is Misha non-penguin, who turns up at Victor's door now misha non-penguin likes misha the penguin and do you know who especially loves misha the penguin it's misha's non-penguin's daughter and she really likes misha and these four people end up living in the same home and misha is one of victor's misha non-penguin is one of victor's clients a regular some would say. Victor feels a little bit weird about the situation and as we move into Death and the Penguin we realise that things aren't really stacked up as we think that they are. In the fact that when he goes to write his obituaries there is a file of all the names in order of who he is meant to write the obituary of. But they're not dead yet. And then things go awry when the obituaries are written and, and the people don't, they don't die. Events become erratic when the people who are meant to die end up not dying and Victor becomes embroiled in a mafia-sized scandal and scam. In regards to addressing this irreverent plot, I'm going to let you, dear reader, pick up this book and find out how we move from a small Kiev apartment by a typewriter to literally the other side of the world this is things happen that are utterly bemusing and at the center of all this we might think it be Misha non-penguin the contractor the person who has brought Victor in we might think that it is Victor but actually it's Misha the penguin not Misha non-penguin I mean the penguin that is Misha. The penguin serves as a metaphor and we can extend this out to the zoo even for the Soviet Union. This is set after the collapse of the Soviet Union. And like the zoo it was enclosed, it was keeping everything in, but now that it has foreclosed it has to let certain things out. People have to stand on their own, they have to be independent, but through 
absolute independence? How does a country like Ukraine sustain itself? How does it build its national identity? How does it not just become something that people adorn over? How Misha would establish itself in amongst the group of penguins, in amongst its peers, is going to be absolutely different to how it's being treated now that it's outside. Victor, now living a post-Soviet life, feels alienated and everything that is happening around him feels alienated. It feels obscure. It feels othered. It feels not quite like home. Victor, who was independent, takes on the penguin, thinking that the penguin will be solely dependent on him, but actually everyone falls into the penguin's hands. Everyone becomes dependent on the penguin. Add Misha non-penguin into the apartment. Victor doesn't even feel like Ukraine is his home. And maybe he has to look for somewhere completely alienating in order to feel independent once again. I'm giving this a 7 out of 10 and irreverent really is the word. Also, very short chapters, very pacey. You can get it done in like a day if you like dedicated yourself and it's a journey, I'll tell you that.